<laughs> my friend really <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, the sassy engineer, your favorite Nigeria Kiwi down here in New Zealand. And I'm here with my friend, Gift. Hi. Hi, my name is Gift. Yeah. So, we just came back from Australia. We went on a vacation based on girls trip. <laughs> and it was Gift's birthday as well. Yep. So, while in Australia, we saw some things that were different from New Zealand because we are here in New Zealand. And yeah, they are very close countries, but like they are very unique things about both countries. So we're going to talk about them today. Yes. yes. So let's do it. The very first thing that we noticed is the time difference. Well, New Zealand and Australia is different by two hours. Two hours. Two hours, um, yes. We just have one time zone in New Zealand. Yeah. But in Australia, they have different time zones. For instance, Melbourne. So Melbourne and Sydney are the same, same. Mm. but Melbourne is different from places like um, Queensland, Gold yeah. Coast, they are one are different. Then there's also Adelaide that is about 30 minutes, maybe 45 minutes different. Yeah. So that's something that we noticed. Yeah. The second one is the plate numbers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, um, generally the plate numbers are different um, according to each state. For me, I, I was only in Melbourne, Canberra, and Sydney, and I just know that each state, no, these are like states, these are like cities in states. So yeah. I was in New South Wales, Victoria, and Australian Capital Territory, yeah. and each of these states have different plate numbers. Um, the Melbourne one was the one, sorry, the Sydney one was the one we picked up. Yeah. We had the white one. Yeah the yellow one yeah and the black one yeah <laughs> and we're wondering why would one state have different colors of plate number yeah but i think it's something that has to do with like changes and people just kept their old ones and never changed it but yeah that's one thing we noticed yeah but in new zealand everything is pretty much the same everything thing. Is there's the same. no difference for states yeah yeah they also have slogans so for instance victoria because they're like state victoria is the education state queensland is like sunshine state mm. i don't know what new south wales is but mm. that's what i noticed um i think do we have slogans in new zealand i don't think no so. i don't think so yeah it's we just, just the our... maori name and the english name and <laughs> yeah, that's it yeah but in nigeria we have slogans yeah we do yeah for instance yeah. Kwaibom is the wow what is it was the... <laughs> Imo... i think Imo is the land of hope and I, I, I might be wrong but I think so. What's a quiet bomb? Land of promise. Ah! Oh, I'm sure. Are you sure? Anyway, yeah. Yeah. That's, okay, that's, that's not going to yeah. matter in heaven. So. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we are Kiwis now. <laughs> anyway, so another one is that the weather is really varied. Oh. I don't know how I feel about the weather. When it's cold, I'm like, ah, uh, this cold is not even up to New Zealand cold. But one thing I love about the weather is that if it's cold and there is sun, the sun yeah. kind of balances out the cold. Yeah. But in New Zealand, mm -hmm. the sun is actually a sticker in the sky. Yeah, like there's filter. just sun, it's a filter, nothing happens. Mm -hmm. You don't feel the warmth. But in Australia, if it's sunny when it's cold, it just kind of evens out the whole thing, which is a good thing that we like. Yeah. But the sun was really hot on a winter day. Yeah. And I was asking and my friend was telling me oh see them mm. oh it's even it's cold not. <laughs> it's nothing compared to summer and i'm like yeah. if it's this hot in winter how is it going to be in summer yeah but i like to experience it so maybe yeah. we plan a summer trip sometime you yes. know december because i think december is when it's not that bad mm. i think, when it gets to I think January, that's February. the beginning of summer so yeah. it's going to be mild it, and we're all saying this based on experiences of melbourne sydney Gold Coast, Tasmania, not other places, so yeah, don't come yeah, for us. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> What's the other difference? Um, um oh, the assigned post. So in New Zealand you have well, you have mainly English and Maori. Uh -huh. Well they in at least in Melbourne, what I saw was a lot of if it's when it's English, the next one is Mandarin. Yeah. English and Mandarin. Yeah. So that's something else we notice. Not sure about our airports though. We're supposed to check Yeah, them. I think I saw it the the last time I was in the airport, but yeah, I we forgot to check it. So yeah. 
that's something on our to-do list we'll yes. have to check it again yeah um one other thing mm -hmm. that we noticed was that everywhere is far from oh, everywhere yeah in Auckland, <laughs> we would say hmm it's a 30 minutes drive it's quite far but it's doable mm. but in melbourne it's like it's a one hour drive and they're like it's so close, it's so close. i'm like Close. One That's hour. not oh. close. That's really far. Yeah. And one other thing we noticed is that their public transport is really efficient. Oh yeah. For Melbourne is really efficient. For most people live outside of the city and it's easy to get to those places. True. Um most of the public transports we took in New South Wales in Sydney was just around the city we didn't really go to the suburbs yeah where I, but i figured a lot of people live in the suburbs yeah. which is good but yeah generally their public transport is efficient i'm not shading a certain city but yeah you know what if you know you, <laughs> know. you know you know <laughs> <laughs> because if you enter the trends in sydney you see their sydney rail network it goes all the way out to places that in some people's country do not get to yeah. <laughs> True, true. and they have trains they have buses they have trams light rails yeah there are many options for you so yeah, yeah. and and it's very easy to find so you wouldn't yeah. get lost but when you, you need to yeah. you just need to use google google maps was what we yeah google maps times. yeah and then in sydney you can use the public transport without having their Open yeah, card, yeah i loved that you yeah. could use your your, your visa, visa card, card or master card, card yeah yeah which was good but here in auckland you need to get your at hop card yeah but you didn't you don't need that card yeah. when you're in sydney because you can always use your credit your debit card, debit to, card to swipe pay. and yeah. go into the buses which was very very rooms. efficient yeah while in melbourne the trams are free in the city. Yeah. It was so yeah, good. It was so good. We <laughs> used it a lot. Yeah. The free trams. Yeah. And um I we're told well I was told that trams are free in Melbourne C B D, Brisbane C B D and Adelaide. I haven't, haven't I didn't use oh yeah, I went to Brisbane, but we didn't use the tram, we just um walked, you know, exercise. <laughs> yeah. Walking but, yeah. is good. Mm. So that's that's something else. Well, in New Zealand, we just really have we have trains. Not saying we don't, we don't have, have trams. trams. We don't have trams, and we have we, buses. Yeah, we have buses. We have buses is the most efficient. Is most. it? I find trains more efficient. Okay, buses, buses I use trains a lot. Buses common. are more yeah. common, but trains are like easy for me. For me personally, that's a personal opinion. But yeah, buses. But buses these days are like yeah. crazy. You have buses in all everywhere. But you don't have trends everywhere. everywhere. True, yeah. true. You're so right. that's just, just put it like that. Yeah, yeah true. <laughs> okay. What else? Um, the police. Oh, yeah, police. First of all, we saw police. The first time I saw a policeman with a gun. That guy oh, in the yeah, airport. In the airport. Yeah. yeah, here in New Zealand, they don't carry f yeah. well. Since that thing, they they now allow them to carry guns. Like regular yeah. policemen. Yeah, they it's have firearms, but they get in their Jesus. trunk. Everyday policemen. Yeah. yeah, but they don't like move around with yeah. firearms. No, they carry tasers. Except instead. in very dicey situations. Yeah. yeah, then they move around. I that's that's what I know. I yeah, know no, but I think they have trunk. some of them. I don't know if all they will have firearms in their trunk. Mm. But just regular patrolling the streets. Yeah, no. they don't use it. Yeah, but yeah, who knows why they had it in the airport in Sydney? Nobody knows. Yeah, it could uh, it could be some, you know, yeah. something but interesting was happening that we didn't know. Yeah. We didn't get to see a lot of police people, but yeah, that's yeah. something different for us. And their police use every every means of transportation you can think of. So, I've seen normal cars and then i saw suvs, SUVs. and bmw for that one yeah wow and i've seen was it bmw or Volkswagen? bmw that yeah bmw okay yeah okay um horses did you yeah oh wow yeah seen a horse so i was like okay medieval times but okay <laughs> nice it's cool i think uk people use horse too oh, oh yeah they do yeah they use horse too yeah. interesting so that's it and what else Oh, there are taxis, by the way. We used Uber. Oh my god. And some of them were fancy cars, some of them. Yeah. Were... But their Ubers are expensive. I think generally because everywhere is far from everywhere. So, but then public transport is efficient, unless yeah. in like when you have to like wear heels and stuff, then yeah. you need to use Uber because you, you don't need to walk a lot. Yeah. But generally, yeah. And Sydney is very expensive. Oh, something else I noticed. <laughs> In New Zealand, everyone smiles. 
Oh, like, yeah. When you look at someone, even if it's a fake smile, they give you that smile. That. Mm. But in Melbourne and Sydney and anywhere else that I've been to in Australia, no one smiles at you. They'll look at you, but they wouldn't smile at yeah. you. Sometimes if you smile at them, it's like, <laughs> why is she smiling at me? <laughs> or sometimes they remove their face yeah. before, before you, you even smile. smile. Yeah. Which was weird. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like generally for Africans here in New Zealand, well, when you see most of us, they smile at each other. Yeah. And then everyone in general. And but in Australia, if you smile at them, they're like, so when I got to the airport, I looked at this one back when we came back to yeah. New Zealand, and I she smiled at me. I was like, oh, I'm finally back home. <laughs> at last. <laughs> Jeez, in no, Australia, yeah, everyone I felt just... I felt everyone's like fast on the move. You guys should calm no down. No one has time to 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 smile at you, whether it's from their heart or not. They just don't Learn smile. from at Kiwis, you. we smile. Yeah, and we're, we're very warm and yeah, welcome. Yeah, we are. Yeah. Actually, we are. Yeah, we are. I guess because. Sydney, for instance, has a population. <laughs> the population yeah, that's of Sydney thing. is more than the population of New Zealand. Yeah. So it could be why everyone is stressed to many people in this country. <laughs> true, true. Yeah. I, I and I found Sydney very busy. I've always said, Oh, I want to live in a busy town, busy place. I keep saying Auckland is so quiet for me. It's not even what I'm used to. Mm. But being in Sydney I do not want. Well, Melbourne is my kind of busy. It's yeah. just it just has a balance between too busy, not too busy, not too quiet. Mm -hmm. And I think I prefer Melbourne. But yeah, Sydney is too fast and busy for me. I wouldn't want to live there. No. Sydney is actually like yeah. if you want to compare it to New Zealand, Sydney is like Auckland of New Zealand. Yeah, for, uh, well, Auckland. Auckland. <laughs> uh, Auckland city center has phases of business. Okay, like it yeah. gets busy in peak periods, like in the morning, after work, in the evening, during lunch time. But Sydney is busy from seven a.m. to seven p.m. every time of the day. People are. I'm like. I was asking my friend. We are this people going to quiet time. I'm not going to quiet time. No quiet time. Yeah, no quiet time. I was like, <laughs> what the hell? No, yeah no no, no. Yeah, yeah maybe if i need to go there for like a project or something i'll be there for a few months yes. <laughs> i wouldn't want to live in sydney now nah, unless i can live in like the suburbs yeah but generally yeah i i didn't feel welcome melbourne i just blended in like i was part of the society true true you sydney, feel more yeah sydney in... was like you know there's this Igbo adage that says when you put the new bed chicken where the other chickens are it would stand on one leg I felt like in Sydney, I was standing on one <laughs> leg. <laughs> I was standing on one leg because everything felt different. But so similar, but yet so different. Yeah, it's That's true, it. true. Yeah. Because Melbourne, you just feel very chill, very welcome, yeah. you know, just do yeah, your thing. True. It's busy, but it's still chill. But Sydney is too fast-paced, like someone can snatch your bag in <laughs> Well, no one snatched No, nobody snatched, but you know, it's really yeah. fast -paced. You just have to be conscious. Uh, I wonder what those so. busy Asian countries will look like. We should go yeah, South we should. Korea or Hong Kong. Someone should sponsor our trip. We promise to make wonderful videos for you. Just sponsor our Asian trip. Exactly. We'll do it. Exactly. Thank you in advance. In adieu. We look forward <laughs> to your sponsorship. Thanks in you. <laughs> <laughs> What's the next one? I think that's all. We okay. covered everything. Um, da, 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 da. And it's hot, it's hot. Okay. Mm. So, my friends, that's all. No. Okay, that's all, right? Yeah, that's all so far. We yeah. can have a second video if you yeah. remember some other things. Yeah, so that's all the things that we saw in Melbourne, in Australia, that we think were different from what we have here in New Zealand. And if we remember any other thing, we're going to do part two of this video. Yeah. If you want to see part two of this video, holla at your girl, just put it in the comment section. Yeah. In the meantime, thanks kids for joining my video. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>